And it's an interesting question, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's the right question, in that the temptation is to answer with dramatic examples. And I'm not sure that it's the dramatic examples that are going to help people to connect to this particular subject. I think that the misuse, the misunderstanding of power and the misuse of power by those in spiritual authority is so widespread, it's so mundane, that we almost take it for granted. We hardly bat an eyelid when we see it. Essentially, uh, I'm looking to define biblically any, any use of power where the power is used by a leader to get something for themselves rather than to humbly serve those whom they are leading. That is by definition a misuse of power. So it's anything from uh, putting legalistic performance measures on people in a congregation which can make leaders feel good because people are behaving nicely for them but bypasses the process of character formation and learning to live by grace. That would be almost ubiquitous, terrifyingly. It would be anything from that to, um, to, to the, the, the levels of abuse that I've seen in some people where uh, their leaders have made decisions for them, where there's been heavy shepherding, where there's been guilt tripping and manipulation, there's been uh, threats, uh, even illicit sexual relationships and so on. All all coming from a misunderstanding and a misuse of power. But the extreme examples are, in a sense, easier to see. But they all have their seeds, they all have their roots in just this simple misunderstanding, biblically, of what power is and what it's for.